Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Derek Pierce with the Scholar and Sinner Show, and to my right, your camera left is what? What, what the fuck was that? To my right, oh, your camera left. Oh, you're giving me directions. That's a technical term. Oh, how, man, can't we just get through one intro without you fucking it up? So now I'm fucking it up. I'm just saying. See, that's that, that is you, that, you know that's very wide of you to blame I the black man, right? You, oh, now it's a racial thing. It's always two a seconds thing. into the show. Two and it's seconds racial. in. Yes, we already there. Damn, you need Jesus. So since it is Valentine's Day, well, it's not technically Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, technically, is the day before Valentine's. It's day. like Valentine's Day Eve. That's not even a thing. That's not a thing. No, I just said it. So it's a thing. It exists in my imagination. My imagination oh my is real. God, your imagination is something else. So, I am the heartbreak kid. Kip Michaels. Yes. Heartbreak Kid. Mm -hmm. I need my music. That sexy boy music, you know what I'm talking about. No, because I don't need boy. music. He's not too boy. You know no, that please shit. Please don't sing. Please don't uh, ever I, I sing. I get busy. Okay? Please don't ever don't, sing. You know why I can't sing? You know why I'm not going to sing? Because women be just taking their drawers off. To try and stuff them in your mouth to stop <laughs> you from singing. Ooh, stuff them in my mouth. That might, that might be. That you might, might be into that. that yeah, we, that might. We did talk about uh, submissive might, men and dominant women. Damn it, man. No, we did not. Did we? No, we did. A oh, couple shit. weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I, listen, you guys need to go back and look at some old episodes and find all the wild shit that we're talking about. Because there's always some wild shit that we're talking about. <laughs> right? Right? So. Uh, anyway. Anyways. Given that tomorrow is such a festive is it is it considered festive? I, I would say it's festive. It's not religious, although no. it does have some pagan uh, uh, connections. Roots, there are definitely some pagan roots, like yeah. Saint Valentine. But I would argue that Valentine's Day is not a fucking holiday. It's a celebration. It's like Halloween. It's okay. not a holiday. I could run it's with a that. celebration. Like I could run with Valentine's that. Day is like the Super Bowl for couples. <laughs> yes. No, I don't think so. I think it's maybe the Super Bowl for females. See, th this is where we run into a problem, isn't it, D? What? Like, what does Valentine's Day mean for the guy versus what does Valentine's Day mean for the male? <sighs> what you, you just said the Valentine's Day for the guy and the Valentine's Day for the male. Hey, it's 2020, so, you know, <laughs> you've got to be judgment-free. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dealing with gender selection on Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah, I fucked that up I, I, all the yeah. way did. What does Valentine's Day mean for the lady yeah. versus what does Valentine's Day mean for the gentleman? I think for the Valentine's Day for women, it's, it's a day where they feel that, uh, you know, men should appreciate the relationships that they have with them and that they should maybe be... Um, Maybe not validated, that might not be the right word, but maybe accentuated mm. as a woman and treated a little better than they normally get, like the the nice night out and mm -hmm. the nice little gifts. And I think for men, it's just a reminder that women cost fucking money. Right. It, doesn't that presuppose that you're going to get in your wallet on Valentine's Day? Hell yeah. Is, is this get your that? fucking hands out my pocket, bitch. <laughs> get your <laughs> out my pocket. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to curse as much. No, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Last bro. week, AJ, last week I did good not cursing, huh? No. Like kind of until the very end. No, and then I lost, you did, I lost you did my a, shit. a horrible job. But the average consumer, average consumer spends $196 on Valentine's Day. The average consumer. Listen, that... I mean, it may not be a lot of money for some, but that's still a pretty huge chunk of change. Right? $196 is a lot of damn money. Okay, let's talk about it. Now, say, wait a second. If the man is spending $196, what is the woman spending? Not a fucking thing. Hmm? What, what, ladies, what, what are you spending on Valentine's Day? Well, I, listen, in all fairness, hmm. some women do spend money on Valentine's Day. Yes. But I think per capita, they don't spend nearly as much as men do. And some women actually even expect it. You know what I think is that uh, it, it almost is unmanly for guys to want to be pampered by their women. You better shut up. Oh, no, I'm just talking about social norms and these mores and these these ideals. I don't, I don't it's know like, where your social norms anti, are. Anti chivalrous for a guy to be pampered by a woman. Look, I want to grow. I think I'm, that's ridiculous. Am I reaching here? You're, you're reaching. Am you. I reaching? Listen, listen. I think that a, a guy should feel proud to be able to provide a smile for this. You know. You know the woman that he's with, but the woman should feel proud to be able to provide a smile for but the guy. What happens to the other three hundred and sixty-four days out of the year? And that's why Valentine's Day is a whole big Mount Everest I, pile I of see, bullshit. I see what's happening here is you're really trying to play devil's advocate. And that's exactly and where bat I'm going for the holiday. I'm trying to bat for the holiday. But the holiday is fucking trash. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the celebration. It's not a fucking holiday. I'm not a huge fan. Well, all. it's a marketing you, ploy. Right. Listen, listen. Valentine's Day is like Black Friday for couples. Okay? 
That's what Valentine's no, Day is. No, I don't it think fucking, so. Valentine's Day is like Black, Black Friday. Friday means there's a good deal. No, motherfucker. Valentine's Day is never we're a good about, deal. We're talking about the money that's spent. Valentine's Although Day. Although you might get anal on Valentine's Day. Anal. Is, Mr. Really? Does everything always deduce down to anal? Not always. Oh, God, Sometimes they, they say no. Sometimes they say no. But it's better if they don't, huh? I don't mind it when they say no. I knew he was going to say some shit like that. I like it when they go, no, what wait, I, please don't. Really? Okay, wait, try, no, wait, go slow. Oh, oh Lord. Have wait, mercy. hold on, let me breathe. It's getting weird. Let's try a different it's position. It's getting weird. Wait, it's okay, weird. never mind, I don't want to do this. Okay, uh, hold on, go uh, ahead, go, go, go. I like that part. Really? Sorry. Did that, I go too far? Yeah, a little bit. Was that too far? You dumped off the cliff. A little bit. No, what, I guess what I say, Valentine's Day is like Black Friday for the service industry. You got to think, right? If you have your little, you know, mom and pop romantic uh, fucking restaurant, right? You guys make, you know, spaghetti. I don't know. You mean a boutique restaurant? A boutique restaurant, right? Valentine's Day is when you gonna get your bread. Yeah, but I mean, there's only so much money you can make at that time. But you got to think. Well, I got some stats. (laughs) I'm sure you do. (laughs) Because the um, in 2019, Americans spent 20.7 billion. Dollars? Are you serious? The, look, man, look. And what's even more interesting is that on Black Friday, just on the online, just on the online purchases, we spent seven point four billion dollars on the online purchases for Black Friday. So, oh, okay, that's Black Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Valentine's? Day? Well, Black. Well, uh, across per capita, Black Friday was less online mm-hmm. than the money that was spent with these guys trying to impress these bitches. I thought you wasn't calling the bitches hoes no more. Man, all right. Oh no, you call them hoes, bitches. Are, are you are you shaming me? Are forget. you vocabulary shaming me? Is that I, what's happening? You are vocabulary forget, shaming me over there. I forget there. which one it is. Is it I'm not calling these hoes bitches or calling these bitches hoes? I haven't really figured it out yet. Okay, Still I working just, on I it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to offend any of the um, hoes or bitches. How about hoe bitches? I like hoe bitches. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 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 but when, when just ones with a little bit of air of uh, of class, though. What? You can be a classy hoe. You can be a classy hoe, and you can be a classy bitch. Really? Yeah. So, so what, the, you think they're all gutter rats? No, no, no. no, don't no, be no wait a minute. 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 So we're talking about sophisticated hoeing. Did you see the female that was here when we got here? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she don't see this shit. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Not talk to us? That bitch can barely talk. Surprise, anyway. bitch! She's not talking to us now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. That's sophistication <laughs> and hoeing in one. Hey, I gotta stop standing. One wop. I literally have to stop standing next to you. Why? Because there's like a scumbag overspray that Listen. happens standing next to you. Listen, I get like scumbag she, shrapnel from you. You're she, like a scumbag is, fucking grenade, let, let me, and I get hit with a bunch of shit that had nothing to do with me. You've never had fallout issues from the comments that I've made. Of course, I have. No, you have not. No, you a damn liar. No, somebody gonna be like. Hey man, you and your homeboy, man. I'm like, yeah, that's my man's in them. No, that's my. I man's. only brought that up because mm-hmm. I was actually thinking about the the women that would expect something for this kind of ridiculous um, endeavor that we're going to call a holiday. Holiday, and celebration. I feel like as nice as she was, mm-hmm. and as sweet and friendly as she was, mm-hmm. I feel like that broad would want some serious fucking dap Ooh. for for uh, February fourteenth. Well, so th- the question is, then how much is too much? Because one hundred and ninety six dollars. Well, is when just you're dating an a professional ball player, damn. Damn, you're gonna just put up business all the way out I there. I didn't huh? say which one. <laughs> and I didn't say what sport. Ooh. Ooh. I just said professional Professional athlete, athlete huh? That's mm-hmm. what I heard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. The streets is talking. The streets is talking. Mm-hmm. That's the word on the street is. But my point is, like, is there a pressure for the man to produce, to make this holiday special? Yeah, 100%. it's almost like, it's almost like I feel like women will kind of, as a general, not as specific, but as a general, kind of cross their arms and be like, well. Right. Well, well, ladies, in he the didn't comments. He did plan nothing for Valentine's. He didn't. What a dick. Ladies, in the comments, how many of you plan things for Valentine's Day? Like, do you plan things for your man for Valentine's Day? Or is he less of a man if he doesn't plan things for Valentine's Day? I don't think so. But right. I think you have to you have to preface that, though, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I think you kind of, as a dude, you have to, like, low-key set that shit up right. as you go, right? Right. Like, you know, just so you know, mm-hmm, <laughs> we're mm-hmm. dating now. But, but this fucking day ain't shit. But isn't Valentine's Day just like uh, a huge like magnifying glass on gender expectations? Like this is what mm. you're supposed to do because you are the man. And, you know, individuals kind of fit into these slots because we've been socialized to think this way. Um, yeah, but then what about the rest of the time when a man takes a woman out for dinner? 
that's exactly the point, right? Now, because I missed that one day, it's Valentine's Day, right? right. Your fucking feelings are hurt, right? But forget about all the other shit that I've done. That's, that's why I say you let them know from jump. Right. Like, look, bitch, uh, girl, um, <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day is not going to mean. You do realize you said that shit like bitch and girl are synonyms. Listen, woman. <laughs> Did you notice the confusion on his face? There was a half second of pause. Really? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know that Valentine's Day ain't popping this year and ain't going to pop any year after this year. Right. I don't believe in it. Don't ask me for shit on right. Valentine's Day. I think if you start it like that, right. then she's not going to have any expectations. Well, see, I'm all, I'm all about the experience being more meaningful than the dollars that are spent. Like, for instance... Like, for instance, is the idea that we collectively decided to do something. We set a goal and we went and out there and corporately achieved this goal. I don't believe that Valentine's Day should me just be jumping out the bushes with a bunch of shit like, hey, you know what I'm saying? No, fuck that, man. Because it's my time, Valentine's you Day. Jumping out the bushes at a woman saying, hey, hey, you probably don't have a Valentine's Day partner. Look, man, I might throw a sheet over you that. You don't have a Valentine's Day partner, do you? No. That's why you've been hiding in bushes screaming, hey. No. Ladies, I am single. I am available. Slide in the DMs. Ladies. He just wants to know which bush you're going to walk by so he can scare the shit out of you yeah. with some candy well, and some shitty flowers. Well, you know what? If you are single on Valentine's Day, doesn't China have that 11-11 um, Singles Day? And it's the, like the exact you're same shit. You're going to bring up China right now? They're on the, they're on the oh, ixnay on the China Holy A. shit. No, no. I'm, uh, first of all, I am not going to put in on that one. Now, now I think if you say you want to go get a corona, it could mean a lot oh, of different things. Oh, Coronavirus bullshit, huh? You know, it could you, be do a beer. Re- you do realize that every year is something new, right? Yeah. Like what? You know, the coronavirus has been around for a long time. It's, and we were supposed to die of fucking Ebola, right? Just the fuck out of here. Right? Okay, look, I don't want to get sidetracked. Please. We're but no, get we're talking though. about Singles Day, right? It's it's a, yes. it's a holiday in which you celebrate being single, and it's 11-11, so there's a palindrome there. The point that I'm trying to make here is that motherfuckers spend money on themselves on that day. It's like, and, and their economy booms. I think... If you are alone on Valentine's Day, you get home, put on some Luther Vandross. Light a candle. Light a candle. <laughs> pour yourself a glass of wine. Warm up some lube. Yeah, put on one of these movies. Look down at your mans in them and be like, look, man. It's me just and you me and tonight, you. baby. It's just me and you. I'm going to show you it's some gonna sweet It's going to be a threesome. Some sweet It's going to be affection. a threesome. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And ladies, go ahead and rub one out. You know how you do it. You know what? It could actually be fun is if you had put some ice in your offhand, <sighs> right, and freeze the palm real quick <laughs> and then put the warm lube in the other hand and then just alternate. <sighs> Look, man. They're better than the stranger because the stranger is the one you sit on your hand until it falls asleep. Really? I, I, I didn't know that, D. I I didn't. You know, you, see, that's my point, man. There's a, there's, a, there's a level here, and you just step over the line. Always. I'm an I, I'm habitual, an habitual line, line stepper. stepper. Yes, you are. What is that from? I don't even remember, but that's you. You, habitual you line are stepper. a habitual line stepper. Like, holy shit. We're going to have a cold hand and a hot hand? I'm just saying. D is over here. If you dip your hand in, in, a, in a bucket of ice... For like a good two minutes, and then yeah, yeah. Listen, D's over here giving you single Valentine's Day good time advice. Oh, that's just a Tuesday for me. I just was really? trying to share the wealth. But the point is, why not love yourself, right? The <laughs> point is, and, uh, yeah, figuratively. I mean, if you're like, see, I think I think that we as uh, like a community, as a society, collectively buy into these ideas. And what happens when people are Which alone- Which are you on, talking about Valentine's Day? Yeah, when people are alone on Valentine's Day, it helped, It hurts their, their emotions, their self-esteem, and it it's hurts their self-value, it hurts their, it. their self-worth. Like, we, we get marketed to. That's true. So we're continuously brainwashed into thinking that you're inadequate if you're alone on Valentine's Day. There's a motherfucker that's gonna be sitting at home really sad tomorrow. What's, what's worse, mm-hmm. being alone on Valentine's Day or having a chick that you didn't do shit for on Valentine's Day with cheeks? Expected you to that chick that you didn't do something that bitch is gonna be mean. Fuck that bitch. That bitch she gonna be mean. You know why? Because she expected you to do. She gonna be looking at you with the face like. If she really liked you, then she would tell you, babe. I don't need anything for Valentine's Day. No, if she really liked you, she'd get her motherfucking ass up and buy you some chocolates and some flowers. (laughs) That's that's, that's, Yeah, I mean, listen. Can we share the wealth here? Really, really down for you. Then Mm -hmm. she would bring you one of her girlfriends as a Valentine's Day gift, and then everybody wins. See, that's not over the line right there. That's not over the line. That's not like good time to me. I'm just saying. Listen, look. What ends up happening is that sometimes uh, women feel that. You know, their reciprocation 
is has to be sexual, right? Yeah. And and what ends up happening is that I don't look at the sexual act on Valentine's Day as the cherry on top of the fucking cake here. Right. Like I want a bunch of other shit too. I feel like maybe it's just me from having a bunch of horrible experiences. You have a horrible Valentine's Day experience? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been bad. Well, tell me. Please tell bad. me. That's I want to know say, what you're horrible. That's why I say fuck Valentine's Day, okay? You know, no, you go real. out. Do you have bad, bad you experience? buy shit and, you know what I'm saying, you don't feel appreciated, D. I don't serious? feel appreciated. Nah, man. But Learn. I'm doing better now. Been to therapy and I'm all that shit. I'm asking you a real question. No, nah, man, I'm bullshitting, man. I'm just saying. This is hypothetical. Have you, ever, have you ever had a bad Valentine's Day? No. Jay, have you ever had a bad Valentine's Day? No. No? No. Why, because you've been solo or just mm, okay. you been solo both Valentine's Days? I'm just, I didn't know. You were alone. She yeah. was alone on Valentine's Day. She was alone Day. on Valentine's Day. She is that person when the marketing hit her, it made her cry. She was at home. Did you did you did you cry at the K Jewelers commercial? Yes, it was the K Jewelers commercial. Every kiss begins with K. Right, right. Were you curled up in the fetal position with a half pint of ice cream? Right, right. Single awareness day. Is that what we calling it from now on? So you are aware of how that nobody loves your crusty ass on Valentine's Day. Is that what that means? Valentine's Day is the day that you realize that nobody wants to touch your gelatelia. Genitalia. Yeah, I like Gelatalia? that Gelatalia? Did I fuck that up? You did. Yeah, Valentine's you... Day is the day when you realize that nobody, nobody gives a flying fuck. No? You, no? Well, because why? They didn't do something for you? No, nah, it's because they didn't show up. Look, man, look, this Valentine's Day, I am solo. I am all by myself, and I don't feel not a half a fuck about it. No, I'd go to sleep Not just even fine. a quarter of a fuck about it. I don't even know how to give a fuck about Valentine's Day. But if I did have a lady that yeah. I thought was special, yeah. I actually would, because it makes me feel good. I don't know. Go, okay, so let's just clarify. I don't think that, that doing something nice for somebody on Valentine's Day is a bad thing. Right. I'm just saying going to the fanfare and the bullshit mm -hmm. That's not all right. Well, you know what I'm saying. Like right. you don't need to spend 199 dollars. Whatever. What was it? The stat. It 190? was 196 dollars. One hundred. I don't think you have to spend 196 dollars. I think that could be a night where you know you cook for your girl mm -hmm. because I mean let's be honest, none of us are cooking for these bitches. <laughs> um, I warm up. I don't cook shit, but what, I'm really good at warming shit up though. Because I said we don't cook. I'm amazing at warming up. Listen, Jay, if it was me and you on Valentine's Day, I would cook the fuck out of some meal prep for you. Some meal prep. That's some microwave action. That's Whatever. what that means. It's still cooking. That's some, that is not it's cooking. Still cooking. I would even put it on a plate. The, I would dirty a plate for Jay. Did, did, did you? <laughs> I would dirty a plate and Look. some silverware. Not even plastic. Not even plastic? Like real silver. Real well, not real silverware. silver, but yeah, okay. like, you know, this stainless mother, steel. This dude talk about cooking and some microwave action. Shame on you. I would. I could put it in a pan. Hey, <laughs> I guess that would. You would put it in a pan? Heat it up. That a boy. Yeah. <laughs> And then I could legit say I cooked this for you. I actually had a really legitimate point until you started talking about microwaving shit on my. <laughs> I'm just trying to look. Look, listen. We all do what we can do, Kip. Right. True. You got to get in where you fit in. Yeah, and I, I'm not cooking unless you want some eggs. Yeah. Whites. True. Whites. Yeah, because D is the Mister Egg White guy. I love egg whites. That's awesome. Listen. But that all I'm saying. That the whole point is that you could just go a little bit above and beyond. But the truth is, if you're ignoring your significant other through the rest of the year, then that one day don't mean shit. Right. But what about <clears throat> everything else? All the the fanfare of Valentine's Day that kind of ruins it. What I'm talking about is the ridiculously long lines at the restaurants yeah, and that's the stupid ass price hike on flowers. It's like, look, let's just pretend. That Valentine's Day is the next Saturday or whatever, the next Friday. Well, or I would whatever. do it the like, day before or the day the after. The day before or the day after. It's it's like going out for brunch on fucking Mother's Day. You gonna oh, wait in God, line that's the worst. for you know forever in a fucking day. Yeah, it's the look, worst. man, for what? For what? For Applebee's, motherfucker. For what? No, hey, you go to Applebee's. No, I ain't going to Applebee's. Fuck that. But the point is, I don't believe that spending one hundred and ninety six dollars or so on someone that you think is special is. I don't think that's bad at all because it's it feels good to make someone that you care about smile. I don't think it's bad to spend it, but again, right. I'm bringing it back to I think it's bad that some people expect it. Right. Well, see, the thing is, is that why is the responsibility, uh, like the financial responsibility of the smile, solely on the male? Right. I because don't mind it. Because we're supposed it. to be the breadwinners. Yeah. But I'm okay. saying this is a new millennium, and I'm trying to empower these women. Yeah. So you go ahead and buy us some shit. Because you know what? 
Right on. I'm Preach trying to, my brother. You know what? The next time the bill comes, reach for your fucking wallet, okay? You know what? Reach for Don't ladies. Don't just fist around in it. Act like you're trying to find that credit card that you know you're not trying to pull out. Mm-mm. 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 Stop bullshitting. Mm-mm. 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 Listen, but tell me that your ego or your manliness doesn't feel like propped up when the bill comes and you just like, I got it. Don't even worry about it. Hell no. Really? Nope. I'm really? like, if that bro paid for it, I feel way better. <laughs> 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 That's a great point. Yeah, you know what? It, it, I think it goes both ways. Right? I, I just like I, think I just wait ways. and we both look at the bill. <laughs> <laughs> what would you gonna do? Look, pick that motherfucker up. Look, look. I, didn't I buy you dinner on Tuesday or Monday? Uh, listen, I'm just saying, we yeah, might not and be then, keeping and then, score. No, no, we're not keeping score, but when we were at the table, I made a joke. I said, don't worry about this. Daddy got this one for you. Daddy uh, I say care. that every time I go to Del Taco. Really? Don't trip. I got this one. I got this one. You get the next one. By the way, the next one's going to be Koi. The point that I'm <laughs> trying to make here, the point that I'm trying to make here is that the ideals that we're raised with, these ideals that we've been given yeah. are often manipulated by like these major corporations, especially on days like Valentine's Day. Yeah. And you can kind of circumvent that by loving the woman that you're with. 365 days or by you guys together corporately planning to do some fly shit because I mean at the end of the day sometimes life feels like you're a hamster on a fucking wheel right and we need these distractions to kind of break up the monotony of you know wake up go to work fuck the girl go home wake up go to work rub the same ass again you like it's the same shit over and over again the same ass over that's because you're a fucking whore did why we why are we back to name calling? Once again, 1-800-D has a sex problem. The line, I don't have a problem. The hotline is going to change every week. I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem? No. Okay. The point that I'm trying to make here. I always feel like I say that. Maybe I need a different segue. I'm just saying I don't have a problem. I don't right. know why. No, no. Well, look at these titles of these. So I'm looking at, like, I look, typed in good things on Valentine's mm-hmm. Day. It's like 50 best Valentine's Day gifts. Right. 30 best things to do on Valentine's Day. Right. 75 best Valentine's wow. Day gifts. 80 plus you best know, Valentine's Day gifts. You know gifts. what those websites are for? Because guys feel pressure. Yeah. You guys feel pressure to make Valentine's Day special. I don't think that's right. But I, once again, think about it like this. Like, I think that I would be more insulted if I created something and the woman was like, well, you didn't take me out to dinner. I'm like, bitch, what? I spent my time. Like like, like if I was a little kid and I made a little heart yeah. out of out of macaroni, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I, and I put my hand on it and I give it to you. That's special, bitch. I made that. Right? Here's, here's what I'm saying. I'm making macaroni hearts for bitches here's, this here's year. What That's I'm what saying. I'm doing. Days like Valentine's Day. There's one good thing about Valentine's Day. One good thing about Valentine's Day. That I can think of. I've been looking for a gang of reasons. Please don't say it. anal, please. I wasn't going to say anal. I okay, mean, I, go. okay, there's two good things about <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. One good thing about Valentine's Day is it'll remind all these damn women why we're supposed to make more money than them. Oh, wow. <sighs> look at all look at all the eyebrows raised yeah. at me right there. You know why? Yeah. We have to make more money. It's, please explain why we have to we make have more to, money, D. Because we got to pay for dinner. And y'all ain't picking up the damn check for dinner. This shit ain't going to happen by accident. We should make 15 to 20% more than y'all because we got to keep paying for shit all the fucking time. <laughs> You know, it's, it's then it a, comes down to be equal because guess what? When was the last time you knew a girl that went to Vegas and was like, Oh my god, I blew like a thousand dollars on going out? Ooh, never, never listen. Even those ugly broads don't have that problem. Even the ugly broads ain't got that problem. Don't act like there's not ugly broads in Vegas. There's a whole bunch money. of ugly bitches in Vegas and they don't spend money. No, nah, they still win. They got good looking friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, that is such a compelling argument. It is a compelling it's argument. A compelling what argument. dude you ever said that went to Vegas and they told you, man, I I was gonna spend all this money in Vegas, but these girls kept buying me drinks and paid for my hotel. <laughs> None. There's not a there's not a dude on the planet. None. None. That do you know what D? Please leave a comment. Do you think that men should make more money because we are the ones that pay for shit? All right, because I of think- chivalry. Because of yeah. chivalry, men should make more money. We should make, make a little bit more money mm-hmm. because of chivalry. Because of chivalry. I think that's uh, you a know good what? way to I, put I, it. It's such a wonderful, compelling argument. I, I don't even know where I stand on that one because, you know. It's a legitimate by, argument. Raised by a single woman, glass ceiling. Uh, me, me women too. across. I know women across the corporate ladder don't make the same amount as men to do the same fucking job. Like, you know. uh, and I agree with that. And I'm not saying it should be astronomically different. I'm just saying just enough 
to offset the social pressures of having to pay for everything. Or, 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 or you know what you could do? You could just be a motherfucking pimp and tell that bitch to bring the money to you. Get out there and bring that money home. So you've been listening to me on Saturday. Exactly. Huh? See, I've been paying attention. Yeah, pay attention. See, see, <laughs> that's called scumbag shrapnel, ladies and gentlemen. I get hit with scumbag shrapnel. You're the one that said it. That's because I get too close to this human scumbag landmine of a human I'm being over here. Not wow. It's like a, a, wow. That's I say really that, hard. I say that with all the love in my heart. You just agreed with the fact that men should make more money than women because we have to pay for things. No, I said and then you co- call me a scumbag. I said it's a compelling argument. I, I, At I, least I have the balls to say it. You just like a no, big no, no, ass no, parent. No, 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 uh-huh. no, 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 no. I just didn't think about it that way. You I've do never, now, though, I, huh? See, scumbag In shrapnel, the back ladies and gentlemen. Mind, right back here yeah. is never going to leave. Yeah, there's a little D in there be like, you should make more money. Yep. You're going to pay. It's like in the, the movies. Next time you sign that credit card bill, you're going to be mm. like, this is why I need to make more money yeah. than you. Like, you because know how I the movies, it'll freeze and, and, the, and the protagonist will be thinking and the voice will be like yeah. disembodied. Yeah, yeah that's, right that's exactly that's what me. happens. Yeah. I'm mm. the little voice of the protagonist. You're actually the little devil on my shoulder. To be Negative, honest with you. Negative. I'm the angel on your shoulder. I have, I have neither Cause God conspired is black. against you or for you in relation to female activities. What? No. <laughs> I have done none of that. No, no. See, see, this is the problem, right? I am purely um, really? uh, bipartisan. Bipartisan, huh? Yeah. Mm, mm. That's me. Mm. So um, I want to talk about uh, UFC Ooh. because I really just don't want you to throw that back at me anymore. Okay, I won't. And I won't. So, <laughs> D is actually a wonderfully loving human I don't, being. I don't need it. He is it's an fine. amazing person. It's, I'm fine. I love this guy. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. I don't need cute. your help. Please stop helping me. Yes, he's a beautiful I, please person. Please stop helping yes. me. I don't want your help. You're he wears single yoga on Valentine's pants Day. You're kind of pathetic. Hey, hey, hey. Just I should send you bit. some. You know what? I might send you, you some. You don't roses. even have a Valentine's, Day, a Valentine's Day pen pal. How <laughs> pathetic is that? You know what? Look. Okay, I've been working on it, okay? Listen, all right? Did you watch UFC on Saturday? Yes, I watched UFC on Saturday. It was amazing. Talk about it. So, what did you think about, what's her name, the bullet? The blonde haired chick that's beating the living shit out of all of those girls in that weight class. Uh, she has the gun I'm tattooed. Really trying Valentina. to remember. Uh, she has a Russian oh, last name. Yeah, that's the homegirl that, that beat the other oh 125. Was it 125? Yo, she's... The 115? It, it looks like it looks like that kid... Well, it just looks like someone that has more training. It looks like someone that's more skilled. It looks like, you know, uh, a she, college kid. Or she fought a, that other girl that has like 18 consonants in her last name. Right. Yeah, I know who you're talking right. about. But she beat the shit she had her in a crucifix position yeah you know the crucifix position and she just Doing rained down time. rained down elbows and punches and the it was a it was a stoppage mm. and like it was a stoppage i was like yo somebody stop this shit before she kills this bitch like it was it looked like a murder well pre-murder let's talk about the the like a girl on her never mind okay oh um, i didn't go there i didn't go there please i just said never mind i never mind it didn't happen I did not say that. Yeah, but you thought it, though. Completely. Yeah. Please leave a comment if you know what Dee's talking about. Will you stop telling people to leave comments about everything Because I want to know said. what motherfuckers is thinking, okay? Okay, I want to know what you... I want to know what you thought about the I affectionately Jones call all the watchers and listeners motherfuckers. You guys are my motherfuckers. Kip's motherfuckers? Kip's motherfuckers. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Become one of Kip's motherfuckers. You don't that even works. have swag yet. What? Uh, but you know what? We need some t-shirts that say Kip's motherfuckers. That's some bullshit. What do you think? Because it'll probably end up reading Kip's hoes that ain't bitches. It'll still be dope, though. <laughs> still be dope. Can you please talk about John Jones' fight? Okay, did he win the fight or not? Yeah, yeah I think, listen, yes. Because I think in order to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Okay, so. 100%. What, what's the kid's name? What's the other kid's name? I don't remember. Oh, uh, man. The other kid's, he's he's undefeated, right? Yeah. He has never <laughs> been out of, like, the first or second, second round. round. He's got, like, the last nine fights were knockouts. This kid's got power in both hands. Right. And people like to say that John Jones is losing a step because he's 32 years old. Um, well, well, no, in I fighting think... age, that's that's ancient. As an as a professional athlete, especially as a combat athlete, yeah, 32 he, years old he is, is pretty old. He spends more time getting high than he does hey, anything look, else. John Jones, I am a fan. I'm not going to you know, throw dirt on that man's name. Okay. I'm not throwing dirt yes. on it. He did it to himself. Yes. Crashed into pregnant he ladies and then the pregnant going lady. back for his weed in the glove box. <laughs> and got the fuck up out of there. I but wouldn't I wouldn't call that your most def, your most uh, uh, illuminated moment. John Jones, brother, listen, okay? I am a fan and uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave that right there. But 
the point the point is like like you said to beat the champ or to be the champ you have to beat the champ and right. in the um in the championship rounds right it was yeah. evidently clear which is rounds four, four and, five. and five yes it was evidently clear that I can't remember <coughs> the kid's name what's the kid's name I remember it was evidently going. clear that he had never been out of the third round before because his gas tank was done and he fought the whole fight pretty much going backwards after the third round the kid was backpedaling right right uh j- but John Jones was outstruck by 12 strikes. The kid landed 12 more strikes than John Was did. it Santos? Mm, no. I'm trying to find no. it. Uh, well, the point is, yeah. John got those two big takedowns, but let me ask you a question. Hmm. In a mixed martial arts bout, if you get a takedown, but you do no damage, should it count? Well, like, the takedown still counts. Yeah, point. but you took the kid down, but you didn't throw a punch, and he popped right back up. Like, uh, did, should did, should that count? Dominic Reyes. Dominic Reyes. Yeah. yeah. Dominic Reyes is young. You know, I mean, he's got a lot of time, and the rematch will be dope. Remember when John Jones fought Gustafson the first time? Yeah. And it was and, an amazing war, right? Yeah. And then in the rematch, Gustafson didn't show up, and no. he got his ass handed to him. Yes. It would be absolutely ridiculous if uh, Dominic gets his ass whooped in the second fight. Because realistically, I felt like John Jones was pacing himself. It's the reason why in the fourth and the fifth round, he had wow. such a deep gas tank. He he has a, a habit of starting out a little bit slow right. and then turning it up as they go. But he, like most uh, prize fighters, especially boxers, are basically learning the game for the first round or so. Right. And then they start to apply. Right. But he put this relentless pace on this kid, right? And what happens is, at the end, he was able to control the narrative. It was like, well, see, this is what champions do. And I was in, you know, championship form. And that's the difference between a champion. It was like, I've been here before. I was like, whoa. Because you was in neutral. You were coasting the first three rounds. And this kid is trying to, you know, win a world championship. And you knew that he wasn't going to be able to knock you out. So then you just put the foot to the gas. Derek Lewis had a fight. The Black oh, Beast? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He fought um that kid that moved up. Uh, um, Latifi is his last name, right? Yeah. The kid that moved up from 205. The jump from 205 to heavyweight is kind of weird because these guys go from being like these ripped 205-pound guys to 260 pounds? Bro. Well. Well, my do, boy the Black do, Beast won. Though. Do what you got to do, right? I'm a fan of Derek Lewis. I, I like that kid. I'm a fan of that kid. His last, The last 15 seconds of every round for him is amazing. He's trying to take your head off. Derek Lewis is Well, I mean, but listen, you got to know something about UFC in, on the whole. UFC on the whole is set up to basically fire people. Fire yeah, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, what I mean by that is like in every in every fight, mm-hmm. in every on every card, they're basically saying like if you don't win, you might be on the chopping block. Oh, I got it. I got it. Well, so we're looking to cut people. Oh, that makes sense because, you know, it's supposed to be the best of the world. So like this, right. this pool can't be that deep because we're the best, right? Not right. everybody can be the best. So you're talking about Valentina Shevchenko. Yeah, she's a, she's a beast, man. She's Look, uh, 19 she, and 3 and 0. Oh. She should fight Henry Cejudo. <laughs> okay, let's get a mixed gender fight. I want to see Henry get his. Why do you want to see a mixed gender fight? Because she's a bad motherfucker. She's, I would pay she's to not watch the that baddest shit. fighter in in uh, in um, UFC. I'm just saying. No, what's um, her name? Homegirl. The I'm forgetting her name. What the, she wears? Amanda the Nunez. Yeah, N- Nunez. Yeah. Amanda Nunez. I think uh, Cyborg would be a, a, a rough time. Really? Is that what we doing for? Nunez for knocked her out. Nunez knocked her out. Show. Amanda. A I, rap. Think, I think Amanda might get your boy Henry. Stop. Henry's no a hundred. Inter, he's no a inter- grown ge- man at 135 pounds. There's no. Well, then, then somebody should fight Mighty Mouse. That's a fucking he was eighth grader. 35 pounds too. Yeah, that's a that's the littlest grown man on earth. That's a little tiny human being. 135 pounds. You Listen, can put that dude in your you pocket. Sh- you should not be having uh, hmm? intergenders fighting. It's Why just, not? That would be it's awesome. Not, it's ridiculous. Why not? It was 2020. Does not they typically do not generate the is same this, amount of power. Is this the bone density argument? That the male bones are denser? Male genetic disposition is designed to hold more muscle. That's true, but isn't doesn't martial arts kind of uh, like mitigate the, the strength factor with technique? Like yeah, go watch the fights and you tell me if No, that no, happens. I'm not talking about taking a hundred and thirty five pound little teeny tiny human and having him fight some two hundred and sixty five pound monster. That's not what I'm talking about. So you would take a 160 pound woman mm-hmm. and put him uh, put her up against a 160 pound man. Nah, nah, that's oh. too much. But the 135 pound little guy, I just I don't have any faith in those little teeny tiny guys. They will they will wear you out. Look, how much does Keenan weigh? Keenan's like 160, right? One of my coaches, yes. Keenan fights at 145, 
And listen, he, when Keenan I trained, cuts down to one. When I trained Manny Gamburian, okay, mm-hmm. Manny fought at originally one fifty five, and then I think cut to one forty five. Mm-hmm. I think he fought mostly at one forty five. Mike Brown and those guys. Yeah. And and I will tell you right now, Manny. Even when he wasn't ready for a fight, so let's just call him one one sixty. Yeah, one fifty. And he cuts down about okay, so twenty five pounds. Let's say one fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay, would whoop my two hundred and five pound ass. Mm. Well, well, then, then how come he couldn't work the same way with a woman fighter? That's because a very high not, level. It's not the same. It's not the genetic same thing. disposition. Right. They just don't. I just don't think you can generate that uh, the same amount of muscle force. Okay, okay, I'll, t- I'll take that. Listen, your There's credentials. No torque in it. Well, these fight credentials are actually, you know, he trained, he's trained fighters. Me, I'm an armchair aficionado, okay? I know this shit. But you're from, from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, Yo. si. I'm from Brooklyn, si. Yeah, Don't mess with me, like, I'm, I'm from, from New York. I'm from Brooklyn, si. I'm from, be- from Best Eye, Brooklyn. If you're going to be 100%. You know what I mean? You, you know where it's at. You know what time no, it is. No, I don't know where it's at. Yes, you do. No. Your favorite rapper's from Brooklyn. I saw it in. in your in, favorite rapper's from Brooklyn. You leave Rockham out of this. This guy, you leave you, Rakim out of this. You leave Rakim as nothing that name to do is with sacred. It. <laughs> it is sacred. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Listen, yeah, I'm just being a hater because he hated on the beat that I had made that was oh, Rakimish in nature. Oh shit! You I didn't hate. I didn't. That's hate. okay. I'm used to people from I New York hate. being haters, though. It's all good. Really? Not tripping on me. Can we not act like you're from California? Can we I, tell I mean, the truth that you're from five. fucking Connecticut? Raised in the East, but bred on the West. Tell well, scandalous, baby. Don't tell get it twisted. That Home you're of the from, Jackers in the crack. Tell them that you're from Massachusetts or some shit. Tell them where you're really from. Connecticut, yeah. Rhode State. Island no, or some not shit. Connecticut. It's real white over there. Connecticut Boston, is its own state. From Beantown. Mr. I'm Teacher. Just, I'm just naming all the whitest, you know, northern, eastern states that I can think of. Do you, do you call it Boston white? Yeah. There's a lot Beantown. of non-white people there in is. Boston. Maine. You're from Maine, huh? Those are all different states. Yeah, I know. That's what they say. Brooklyn's a different state than the Bronx. Brooklyn is a different state than the Bronx. No, they're just ridiculous. I'm just saying. What else is another good white state for you? Why are we talking about white states? I don't know why we got this. Wyoming, Wisconsin. (laughs) Don't pull me into this ridiculousness. I am not following you down this shitty rabbit hole. I don't think there are any black people in Wyoming. There might be. Maybe. Maybe. They have football there, don't they? There's no. There's no professional team. I know. Speaking of football, football, XFL. Any attention? Um, so a girlfriend of mine is not XFL. A girlfriend of mine plays in the LFL. Oh, I have a homegirl that plays in the NFL also. The LFL. I like it. LF- it's fun. Uh, I have I'm feelings. not excited about XFL only because it's too short and fast. Like I like the XFL being fast. The pace of the game is faster. They, they, it is, but they I remove can't get some away of the from... bloat of the NFL. Like those NFL games, if you're not really a football fan, st- sometimes a random football game would be mad long. Yeah. Right. One of the problems that the XFL has is that they they booked uh, stadiums that were too big, right? Mm. They had a great capacity, but then they're in a stadium that's supposed to be holding like ninety thousand to one hundred thousand people, and they only got right. like seventy thousand seats. And then when they when you you know pan out, it looks crazy. They should have booked a fucking college stadium. That shit would have been dope. Should have booked somebody's yeah, backyard. They, that shit would have been dope. Book the Rose Bowl. Don't book fucking, you know what I mean? The Citizens Citizens Bank. Is that basketball? Well, don't no, book Citizens some, Bank is where we were supposed to go on Monday for Monday Night Raw, oh, we which he couldn't make. Yeah, we didn't make it. No, you. Dreams. I dreams. was ready. My dreams were destroyed. I have a friend that got us tickets to Monday Night Raw. I've been a different wrestler every time, D. I know. And obviously you didn't think enough of it to take time off of uh, no, your, it your job. No, it wasn't my fault, D. It was your Stop fault. Stop trying to blame me, okay? You're shaming me over here. You know what? I, I, I kind of want to go back to the Valentine's Day thing just Let's a little bit. Just a little bit right. to kind of close things out because okay. I won't have a lot of time. What do we have left? Like, okay. Yeah, we're on there. Okay. Um, so we talked about like activities and things that men are responsible for. Mm-hmm. But so if I play devil's advocate, devil's which, advocate. I, which I never do, no, never, of course not, never. You do don't even believe advocate. in the devil, so I'm not even going there yet. Yeah. Um, so if men are required, men required. That's a strong word. Yes, if men are required or expected, expected to, to participate on the front end of Valentine's Day, which oh. is flowers and. And candy right. and eh, you know ridiculous hotels. Then what are these women responsible for on the back end? Mm. No pun intended. I didn't even say anal. Mm. I, did. I mean, I said it right now, yeah, but I like, didn't <laughs> say anal as in regards <laughs> to the back end of the What are the ladies activity. responsible for? Are the ladies responsible for patting our egos? Are the ladies responsible for? She can pat these. Never mind. These balls. These nuts. These nuts. 
See, D's not. D's not. See what I did there? Are they responsible right there. for? Uh, I know it's a girl whenever Jen, feel... whenever Jay puts her 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 head on her, yeah, her hand on her yeah. face, yeah. that she just goes, "I can't believe you just said that." Are, are, I mean, are, are women responsible for making us feel validated because of our efforts? Well, I think you're putting too nice of a spin on it. I think they're responsible for taking care of this dick. You gonna put some respect on this dick. <laughs> you gonna put some respect gonna, on this dick you gonna, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> some respect on this dick for Valentine's Day. Some respect. That would be these, another great these, T-shirt. These, that's gonna be the Valentine's Day card of 2021. You gonna put, put some, some respect, respect on, on this dick. dick. There we go for Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> that's great. I think you should have, open up the card. There's a checklist. Dinner, check. Check. Flowers, check. check. Candy, check. check. Respect on, on this, this dick. dick. Check. Check. <laughs> there we go. That's a very great and very conclusive checklist. I, it's, it's all inclusive. It all covers inclusive. every base. Right. But no, seriously, I don't know. I, I feel that if men are expected mm -hmm. to to handle a certain amount of the front end, then women should just come prepared. Like, you should have, like, I don't know, new heels, new lingerie, mm. new girlfriend for me. <clears throat> I mean, that's just me. I yeah, don't, true. I'm yeah. not saying yeah. everybody. But I mean, okay, fine. Because what we're talking about is responsibility. Like yeah. if the man has a responsibility, then the woman has a, a responsibility. Yeah, also. I think so. I think right. that's fair. That's mm. a fair trade. Jay, right. you think that's a fair trade? Right. Why? Because that's not fair. She's shaking her head. No. She, I saw that. You know, because it's one sided. Uh, you want fairness when it comes to the workplace, huh? You want that check to be <laughs> fair, don't you? <laughs> oh, you don't want the check to be fair. All of a sudden, now all, she's a. All of she's, a sudden. Oh, wait, no, no, no. She told us in the beginning. She's old school. Yeah, she's Bullshit old meter. school. She doesn't Bullshit want women meter. equality. Bullshit old meter. No equality for women for her. Jay, Jay does not want equality for women because she's old, old school. school. Yeah, right. Got you. Yeah, Got you. okay. I understand that. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no But, problem. I mean, you, it, you could be a powerful... Uh, like very goal oriented, like businesswoman that's completely submissive at the house, though. Oh, well, that's most women, right? And and that's I think most that, women. yeah, the, and I'm strong, I'm drawn to very, very strong women in their day to day activities, right? And then who want to get because if we're talking about like, like w w let's go back to fighting, right? We talked about a male fighter versus a female fighter, and you the reason punch why em. No, I don't want to punch these bitches. Well, that's maybe. In the stomach. If they like it, though. Yeah, if they ask. I had a woman You punch your bitches in the stomach, D? She asked. D! Swear to God. Swear, bro, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> There's the line, and there go your ass stepping over it again. How the fuck are you punching bitches in the stomach? It was one bitch, and No, no, no. Asked. No, I always got to multiply it by three. Okay. No, it was one. Three times one is three, motherfucker. Although That's three I have bitches. I've met more than one that said she totally wanted to get punched in the stomach. But not like a, 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 a Vander. That's not a good one. Um, not like a Mayweather, you know, uh, you know, rip to the gut. I don't mean that. I mean like, you know, just some some light. Da, 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 you do da, da, know that like Floyd. Like bag work. You know that Floyd got in trouble for some batteries. Oh, shit. Did he? Okay, I didn't realize that. Sorry. He was Sorry. accused of beating bitches up. Though. Well, was he convicted? <laughs> no, so it don't count. Because well, he probably didn't punch him in the stomach. He's a professional fighter, you know. I'm just saying, if he had punched yeah. in the stomach, Look, man, hypothetically. Th that just sounds outlandish. It is a little outlandish. You know what happened in the aftermath? Please tell me what happened in the aftermath. So I think everybody wants to know what happened in the aftermath. How, how does this end that you punch a bitch in the stomach fully naked? First off. Your balls are hanging out when you punch in this bitch in the stomach, dude. No, I was on my back. She was on top. Because good access for the stomach. You were. She <laughs> asked, oh, why am I the asshole? <laughs> Why am I the asshole? You just complying. She is that asked. What that is? You're just oh, so I'm I'm a jerk because she asked. What I would be a jerk if I said no. Alrighty. She said, "Daddy, I have a request." She did say, "Daddy, I have a request," and I was like, "Okay, go." She's like, "It's go gonna be a little crazy." Ladies and gentlemen, and I, I want like, you to know that he's not making any of this shit up. This is no, all I'm not. I'm dead real, one hundred percent authentic. Yeah. We, we, we rented the hotel room. In the adventures of D's penis. Yeah. Well, no, I was there too. Yeah. It just wasn't the devil dick that was ahead of me. It was. So wow. anyway, so the point was, she said, I, I think I want you to punch me in the stomach. And I said, okay. And she said, I think I might want you to punch me in the face too. And I said, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Cause we only have a few minutes. And I said, <laughs> and I said, let's start with the stomach because I feel like going directly to your face is, is a bit of a stretch. <sighs> Like, I don't just want to go uh, and, like, have sex with you and then punch you in the face. That's a little bit ridiculous. You know, you know, 
if you go to D's Instagram, right, you're gonna find him hitting pads, right? He's either gonna be punching these pads or jumping, spinning, cartwheel, kicking these pads or some shit. He's been training to punch shit and kick shit his but, entire but life. But not women during sex. That was a new experience. Oh, so here's the kicker. Is that is, does that make it I special? I didn't mean anything by kicker either. I just the meant kicker. like the 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 uh, what is it? The yeah. crescendo? Yeah. Crescendo? The crescendo? Climax, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, that's later too. Fuck. Um, <laughs> the, the crescendo. Okay, so I punched her in the stomach and she had a couple orgasms, which I thought was weird. But I'm gonna roll with it because I'm that kind of guy. I am supporting. Okay. And then she said she wanted to punch her in the face, so I gave, gave her a couple of like short little little really? sticks to the jaw and then the other side too and then a little harder and then she had another orgasm and we, we were done D, I think my penis is running Can away I, from any bitch finish. that's talking about punch me in the Listen, face and then he's I gonna was, run away he's like what the fuck man I, no I'm in it to win it I'm, <laughs> I am down for these women whatever it takes oh, you wanna get punched God. in the stomach in the face I got your back uh, because I care is that what that is? Yes. Awesome. And so what she had said at the end of it is uh, when we had stopped and uh, and she was like, damn it, I can't stand that. And I'm like, what? What's the problem? And she was like, I was afraid I was going to like that. Wow. Yeah. Swear to God. That's what she said. I swear to God. <sighs> you need a memoir. You it's need right a memoir. Here, our podcast, uh, Scholars and Sinners. Scholars and Sinners. Look, man, look, look. If we're going to keep a fucking scorecard about who's a scholar and who's a sinner, I think he's I am really definitely up. the scholar. He is definitely. I'm definitely the scholar. Is that what that is? Really? You've had a lot more vocabulary fuck ups than me. I'm not punching bitches in the face, though, D. She asked, Kip, <laughs> with no T. She asked. Now, I would have thought it was strange if she had put in a mouthpiece. Beforehand, you should have put them because then I would have been you know like, You should have done. done this before. You know what you should have did? You're like, oh, for real, bitch, you want to get punched in the face? Reach down, grab a mouthpiece, push that shit in her mouth, and then go ahead and give her one. I, I feel like it would have been fair if I put headgear on too. There you go. She don't need headgear because she wants to get hit in the face, okay. but I should have put some headgear on just leave, to make it more real. Leave a comment if you've ever what, put, no, don't mean, leave a comment if you've ever punched a bitch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick. So Some of you scumbags are gonna try to try this wait, shit. So so don't it, try that shit at home. So if I've if I've worn a mouthpiece and headgear and gloves during sex, do those make those like sexual toys now? Yes. Those are sex toys. Those are sex toys. You That's fucked crazy. a bitch in some boxing gloves before. I might have. No. I can't remember. No. MMA I, gloves. MMA gloves? I have done that. Because you got the fingers out. I fuck bitches yeah. with my socks on. That's where you probably got ugly feet. Doesn't matter. My feet are actually kind of nice. See that right there? See that? You can see go to that? my Instagram yeah. and see my toes, y'all. Yeah, uh, you can see mine too. Mine are pretty. Ah, oh, bro. I got he, nice feet. He, he was sitting on there like a fucking. You tripping? <sighs> you tripping? Don't don't be a hater. Uh, you look, know how man, many of the homies got upset because I had my feet out on two of the. It pictures. was the feet up and the fucking turtleneck and the and toes the, are pointed. And the toes out and yeah. the the library so you were sitting pretty. in and Jay, you loved it. Stop your it. your metrosexual it, looking lotion model ass sitting there like you're waiting for someone to come. Uh, Feed you some fucking grapes, like yeah. no. And then you scroll down, and there you are on your Harley Davidson with your club vest on, doing some man shit. That's all man shit when I do it. Really? Uh, okay. Speaking man of man shit, shit you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day. Yes. Make sure that you hold these women responsible. It's still to Black History Month, motherfuckers. Nobody cares. Love some black people. Nobody cares. We have a break on the fourteenth. It's not Black History Month mm -hmm. on the 14th. It's mm -hmm. Valentine's still Day. Still Black History Month. They don't even give you guys a whole month. That's fucked up. We gonna talk, Listen, still Black History listen, Month. Listen, I'm trying to help these dudes out real quick. Help them out, please. Hold these women responsible for the back end of Valentine's Day. You just insinuate however you want to. The back end of Valentine's Day belongs to us, guys. Feel don't good. let them rob you of the back end. Feel good about making that lady smile on Valentine's Day. Feel Enjoy. good. Enjoy. Scholars and Sinners. I'm Derek Pierce. Kip. Hey, do you know where they can find us? Oh, on Facebook. And uh, Instagram and uh, Spotify and iHeartRadio and what else? Just fuck checking. Man? That's yeah, it. I think so. Okay, y'all have a good uh, Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Oh, and on Alexis Broadcasting too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we Have a good night. Love y'all.